three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. That was the scene at the Kennedy Space Center early on Wednesday as Artemis One began its historic journey to the moon. It's flying without astronauts for this test mission yet. Those back here on Earth, including in Metro Atlanta, will take what is learned from Artis, Artemis One and use it to put human beings back on the moon for the first time since 1972. This $4.1 billion test flight is set to last 25 days, and NASA intends to push the Orion spacecraft to its limits and uncover any problems before astronauts are on board. But the impacts of the Artemis program will be felt back here on Earth and locally. Professor Thomas Orlando at Georgia Tech says Artemis will compare to the Apollo missions of the 1960s and 1970s and help usher in significant changes in the kinds of technology that we see today in our everyday lives. New materials can be made under reduced gravity. There are new um, you know, drugs that can be developed. There are many things that can be new that are going to be probably um, uh, available in the not too distant future because of our steps forward. On board the Orion are test dummies. NASA calls them moonkins. And they are fitted with sensors to measure such things as vibration, acceleration, and cosmic radiation. This is of particular importance to Professor Orlando and his team at Georgia Tech. He says the data that comes back from those suits will go right to fine-tuning suits that men and women will wear when they make their lunar voyages. The intention for Artemis is to have a long-term uh, presence, a uh, long-term sustainable presence of uh, the astronauts on the moon. So they need to be, um, you know, in spacesuits, which are their, their protective barriers, particularly when they're outside doing extravehicular activities. The Orion crew module is expected to splash down in the Pacific on December 11th, if all goes well. NASA hopes to send four astronauts around the moon on the next flight in 2024 and then land humans back on the moon as early as 2025, not that far off.